given myself a couple of minutes to calm down because I actually got so pissed and panicked and frustrated that I cried. Um, this has been miserable. Okay guys, so here's a little update. I gotta do it quick because my phone's dying. Um, I had my freak out at the bridal shop. It was a disaster. Major shout out to my friend, um, Britt Lyons. She's on here, she has a channel. I'm gonna link it in the description below. Uh, I've met her through the YouTube, YouTubing and actually on Twitter and she's incredible. Like she talked me off the edge today when I was having my major freak out. Uh, when I was losing it, thinking I wasn't going to have a wedding dress, a panic. Uh, she's just like a total sweetheart. We've only been talking for a couple of weeks and it, it, I mean, honestly, even if that, and she was so supportive and so nice and she's just genuine. She's caring. Her content's hella cute. Um, okay. Enough of the Brit promo, that's totally random and now I'm like fangirling over her, but she really made a big difference today. Um, so I went down, I went to David's Bridal, I got the items that I needed um, from them, or most of them. I don't have the one special piece like the, it is cosmetic, but it was the only thing that I wanted out of a wedding dress. I didn't really look around, you know, most girls are like, this is the dress that I want. I didn't, I didn't really care. I knew I bought the first dress I tried on. <laughs> I mean, it looked good, I, I liked it, whatever. It, but it didn't have this one thing that I've always thought was so elegant and beautiful. And so I was having it added and um, I still don't have that part, but maybe I'll have it, maybe I won't. I am a seamstress, so maybe I will be able to figure out a way to do it myself. I don't really know, kind of risky on such a expensive dress, but I'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. Um, some of you may have noticed there's a new addition in the back seat of my car. <laughs> That's how you know my day was shit, because I went out and bought a $2,000 new gun. That's how you day know my day, oh my God, I can't talk. That's how you know that my day was so bad um, that I had to do a little bit of retail therapy and I went and bought a Mac desktop. I got the best one that they had. It's freaking massive. I don't know all the specs. I don't have them memorized. Uh, I will show you guys once I get it home and all set up. Um, no one probably cares as much as I do, but it's exciting. I have always been a Windows user. I've always had like the Samsung phone, always, always, always. I've always been anti-Apple, to be honest. I feel like anybody who's like not in the Apple world is like super anti-Apple, um, and that was me. However, now that I'm making videos, everybody seems to have Apple and says that Final Cut is the bee's knees and it's user-friendly and all this other stuff, so that's what I'm doing. I'm, that's why I got it. I'm hoping that it makes editing easier. I had been using my laptop that I got like six years ago. I think, I think about six years ago. Um, it's an old HP Split X2. So it's like one of those, like, it's like a tablet hybrid kind of laptop. I've literally been editing on that. It's been terrible. With Pinnacle 21, also terrible. So I'm like, I'm ecstatic that this, this should make the world of a difference. It's gonna take a while to get used to a whole new format. I'm really hoping since I record on my phone that my files are gonna transfer okay since this is Android and that that's obviously Mac. Um, they say though the guy at the store at Best Buy, I got it at Best Buy, um, the guy there said that it shouldn't be a problem. Huge shout out to him too. His name was Maddox and he works at the Beaverton Best Buy by the Washington Square Mall, and that's that's where I went. And he he was so knowledgeable and so nice. We, he helped me look at some cameras because I'm hoping that I'll get one of those, a real camera. I'll quit using my phone maybe between Christmas and March ish um, is when I'm hoping that I'll be able to get that. So he gave me all the specs on every camera. He just 
he laid it all down for me and that was so nice. He spent so much time explaining everything to me and I didn't feel like he was trying to sell me on any specific thing. In fact, I went in there wanting this computer and he's like, before you do that, let's look at all the options. He goes, I personally have a Mac, but I want you to know everything that's out there. I want you to know all of your options. How far can we get your money to go? Um, and that was really, really cool of him. I obviously ended up with the Mac because it's the, the user friendliness that I really wanted. Um, but man, what a whirlwind of a day. There's been so many emotions. I've literally went from bawling my eyes out to super, super happy. I actually have a raging headache though. I'm it's a pretty long drive down there, the, down to Tigard from my house. It's about an hour and a half. Uh, I, of course, went in rush hour, so I got traffic both ways. So the drive has ended up taking a couple of hours both ways. Um, so I've just been in the car a lot. All the stress, anxiety, emotions, the up and down, this roller coaster has left me with a rippling headache, which will soon be a migraine. I get these really frequently. I might make videos on things that I do to help them. Uh, but I'm basically just racing time before it gets to the red zone, or I don't know what you want to call it, before it gets to like the peak where I can't even open my eyes and I get really sick. So that sucks, probably, especially because I don't get to hook up my new computer probably tonight or get that all set up. At least I got important stuff done today. I think I have the dress figured out. I wanted to go and pick up my ring. I haven't had my ring for like five days or something like that because it's getting fixed. And that sucks. Felt weird like going into the bridal shop and stuff with no ring on. Like, what are you doing, boo? It also sucked going by myself, like not having my mom there. Um, I bought my veil, so... I wanted her to see that or give an opinion on that. I'm sorry this lighting sucks. It's just, this is the only time I'm going to be able to really fully talk about this situation without um, time passing and me forgetting or whatever. This is more of my, my vent sesh. Maybe I'll just put this audio over an image so you don't have to see my face because my hair, I don't know what's happening here. This wasn't a ponytail. Then I had to like make a fake thing. Yeah, I do all the veils. I totally screwed with it. It's awful now. I was bawling my eyes out earlier, obviously, so I have the, what little makeup I was wearing, I destroyed. It was just kind of a mess today. I was a whirlwinded mess, but chatted with Britt for a while. She got me through it. My mom immediately was like getting on Amazon, trying to find options for the things that you know, we needed from, that I ended up going to David's bridal for, but she was trying to help as much as she could. She couldn't get out of work. She wanted to so bad, and I could tell that she felt so bad that she couldn't come with me. Um, well, I'm, I'm only about 20. 